Hey, today I wanted to go over the axis aligner component. The axis aligner component is used in the build and energy world and a bunch of other worlds where I arrange UI. So it's used to make this UI line up nightly. So you've got each row lining up and then each item within this row lining up like a table. To get started, we're going to need a cube to uh, position around a bit. So I'm going to go 3D model box. Shrink it down and then pop an inspector. I'm going to reset the rotation on this inspector just because we'll be talking a lot about the axes. So it's important that we know which way we're talking about. And the axis aligner component requires a parent the everything you want to align is parented under. Um, and that's where you have the actual component. So I'm going to use the up arrow button here to create a parent. On the parent, we're going to attach the axis aligner component. So attach component, transform, drivers, axis aligner. We're going to click this auto add children, which will automatically start adding children to the aligner component as we add them. And then we're going to duplicate the box uh, a few times. So if I select the box and then push the square, I'm going to move that down so you can see what we're doing. It's now perfectly aligning these squares as we as we create them in that direction. To make things a bit easier to see here, we're going to color the first square here red and the last square blue. And then we're going to make one of the middle squares here pink. The axis aligner has a separation field here, which controls a, a gap between each uh, alignment object. So if I set this to five, you'll see we're quite a big way away. I'm going to set that to one, so there's just a little gap. So now each time has a gap all the way along the row. The other things on this component are the direction. Right now we're set to X positive. So it's aligning things in the positive direction along the X. Um, it, we can change this to X negative. And what this actually does is it just right now, because of the settings we have, it just flips the order around. So you'll see now the blue cubes here and the red cubes here. So everything's been flipped around. We go back to X pause again. Let's see the red cube is first. We can go past the X neg to change the direction to be Y or Z. So we can do Y pause. You'll see the red cubes here blue cubes there in the ground. We go to Y neg, you'll see the blue cubes here, red cubes in the ground. And then Z as well, we have the same, red to blue, blue to red, and then the other background to XPOS. The global axis align controls how the um, arrangement is aligned depending on rel uh, the relation to the alignment point. The alignment point is this square here. So if I change the global axis align to mid on the X, you'll see it's now aligning based on the middle of this point and aligning out both ways. So now we've got the two pink cubes, blue on the end and red on the end here. And if I change that to X snake, see red and then blue. If I set the Y to mid, everything's now aligned up with the Y and the X. And then the Z to mid. Now it's aligned in all three axes, so we're aligning from the middle of the cube here. We then uh, look at the element axis align. This is more useful for objects which are different sizes or um, different dimensions or oh, like awkwardly shaped, but it controls um, the alignment point for each of these items. It doesn't affect much in this cube setup, uh, so try these out with more complicated objects if you want to align them. You usually won't come into this, uh, at least I don't with my UI alignment. This works for any number of objects that are added, so you can just keep adding objects and it'll keep going. But it'll also work as you start deleting objects, it'll automatically remove them keeping everything tidy. You can also move the parent around as though it was a normal object. 
So if we wanted to, we could go ahead and add a add a spinner component to that. And make everything spin around. That's all there is to it. Look out for this component in the wild. It's in a bunch of my worlds where I'm using UI like this. It's also in Gearbell's Spider-Man warehouse. It's what aligns the um, pictures of the avatars that you can make a spider with. Spider-Man with, sorry. That's all there is to that component. I really like it. I use it all the time. Try it out.